Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to remove old device drivers in Windows 10 that may be bugging down your computer. And just if you wanted to clear up some drivers you're not using or something that just might be messing up or conflicting with another driver, um, this tutorial will be for you guys. And we're going to start by heading over to the Start button and we're going to right click on it and then left click on command prompt admin if you receive a user account control window select yes so now we want to enter our root directory which is our C drive so we're gonna just type in CD space and then you want to do a forward slash now we are in our root directory C now we want to type in set space and please keep in mind I'm going to have this in the description of the video as well and probably on the screen so anyway we're going to keep going so we're going to do set DEV MGR device manager then we're going to do underscore show this all capital letters device manager show or DVMGR underscore show underscore then we're going to type non present then we're going to do another underscore and now type in devices equals one please note there's no space in between devices and one so it's just one word essentially devices equal one then you want to hit enter on your keyboard now you want to type in dev mg mt dot msc and then hit enter on your keyboard this will open up device manager here at the top right next to action left click on view and then left click on show hidden devices and you can actually see um, it will actually unhighlight the icon a little bit so it will make it a little bit more transparent you can see that this one adapter is currently not being used on the computer same goes for one of the monitors here and if you don't believe me if we go back under view and then we uncheck show hidden devices we see it goes away so obviously um, this has been created here so at that point you just kind of go through and see different drivers that you might want to install again it's really not probably necessary in most cases but if you like to clean up your drivers a little bit this is definitely a great little feature to know about so i hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and i will catch you in the next video goodbye